everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. And today I want to do a personal video about my local BBC radio station, BBC Radio Suffolk, which I'm going to tomorrow to again record some more poetry about my autism experiences and some non-autism poetry. I want to talk about my journey that I've been working with the BBC over the last five to six years that I've been regularly going down there to pre-record and be interviewed live on air and on the telephone via the Mark Murphy show and the John Wright show and more working alongside John Wright than Mark Murphy but Overall, the station is a fantastic organisation and fantastic team of people that work there behind the scenes with me, have involved me in disability campaigning work, have supported my autism journey over the last six to seven years since my diagnosis and they've really valued me, respected me, listened to me, valued me, made me feel really dignified and confident and, you know, made me feel really important of my story, my journey, my autism, my poetry and without them it wouldn't be possible for my voice to be raised within my local community. I'm very humbled and lucky that they have taken me to have so many opportunities and listen to me and made me become more of a local campaigner, advocate for people with autism. I'm very lucky that I've had multiple opportunities to tell my story, share my experiences, share my poetry with other people who may be new to getting diagnosed, new to getting assessed, new to the autism community, autism world in general. And I just want to talk about how lucky I am to be still five, six, seven years on talking to people with autism, talking to the BBC, especially the John Wright show. He is somebody I class as a friend. He's not just a professional. He's not just a BBC professional that I go and see to pre-record my poetry, but he's a friend. He's someone I class as family. He's someone that I've got to know very, very well over the last six to seven years that I've been able to pre-record things with him to do my autism and you know over the last five to six years my confidence has changed it's been an up and down journey with grief with losing people in my family who have passed away he helped me deal with the loss of my grandma you know he's helped me deal with the loss of a friend and you know it's very very hard when you're on the spectrum because your emotions tend to be up and down everywhere you don't tend to control them that well i'm speaking obviously from my own personal perspective but you know, when you're autistic and you feel like you're not being taken seriously, John really has stepped up his game and has really helped me to feel myself, feel confident, feel respected, listened to, valued. And he asks the questions that I can answer. He doesn't give me things that I can't talk about or doesn't make me feel awkward. He makes me feel like I'm safe and that he knows that if I need to have a break, we can stop and then try again. And if I need, if I get overstimulated, he knows that I need to have to have a breather, walk away, and then come back. He offers me a drink of water when I'm there to make sure that I'm ready to pre-record. He'll talk me through what we're going to do and how we're going to plan the pre-recording, what questions he's going to ask me, how he's going to put it into his show. He's going to explain what time it's going to be put into his show and what music tracks I want. And he actually involves me in the whole process of the pre-record from start, middle, end, you know, he makes me feel involved in it step by step by step by step and doesn't ignore me. He makes me feel very, very special. He makes me feel very, very gifted and he supports my autism journey. And for someone to take that much time out, that much effort with me and to actually respect me and listen to me and value me, local radio is a godsend to me. It has helped my confidence massively. It helps me to share my advocacy, my campaigning, my YouTube channel. Again, he's been one of the biggest advocates on my YouTube channel, which I've had now for eight years this month, which is Gemma's Journey Grace, if you want to look it up on YouTube. He has been very supportive of all my advocacy work I do on the channel. I share all my autism experiences there on my channel. I often live stream. I do pre-records such as this video that will go up very, very shortly. I often will vlog when I'm going to places, so you may see another video at BC Suffolk tomorrow of me outside the building showing you what it looks like, etc. So I am a keen vlogger. I do try and vlog as often as I can about my experiences of being an autistic female. Um, to those of you that may be new to the channel, I am diagnosed with autism, high-functioning autism. I was diagnosed in 2014 at the age of 25. I am now 34 years old. So... 
That being said, I am very lucky to have the support of John Wright and the BBC Suffolk production com- production individuals who work there. And, you know, they've been nothing but a fantastic, loyal bunch of people. John takes my time very, very, very seriously. I've met him at the park and we've had walks and we've sat down about and talked about mental health and the increase in awareness in Suffolk for mental health and autism services. We've talked about my autism journey, my diagnosis journey. We've talked about the reasons why I I wrote poetry which you'll get to hear about once I do some more pre-recording with John tomorrow morning at 11am British time I'll be pre-recording some new poems for you guys so you'll hear some new poems that I haven't mentioned yet uh, I love working with BC Radio Suffolk I think it's just a fantastic place to work with they are a very very nice bunch of people and you know if it wasn't for them I wouldn't have my advocacy I wouldn't have my voice out in the local community especially within the Suffolk and Ipswich boundaries and I feel very lucky and gifted that I'm able to have my voice out there. I'm very lucky that he takes a chance to believe in me, support me and advocate for me because autism is very complex. And, you know, he takes the time to listen to me and support me and he doesn't make me feel rushed or like I'm taking too long about things. He's very understanding that I struggle with my communication, which is a key symptom of my autism. It's a communication difficulty communication disorder if you like to call it that but I hate the word disorder so I don't use it but as one who's been down to Radio Suffolk plenty of times I really do appreciate the support that John Wright and his team have offered me I'm very very lucky that he continues to work alongside me and support me as a friend a professional someone who's taken a key interest in my journey over the last few years and I'm very excited where our journey is going together in the next few years to to increase and arrange the autism awareness understanding Um, and the acceptance factor of autism because let's face it Ipswich hasn't really been that very autism friendly or accepting in the past and that's something that me and John are working on together to increase the acceptance and awareness of autism in the Suffolk community the Suffolk Peninsula the Ipswich community because especially Ipswich with regards to females isn't that much friendly and isn't very well known about because a lot of autism females mask and mimic their struggles like myself so Yeah, I just want to talk about how lucky I am to be working with him once again and have my voice, my experiences, my advocacy shared out into thousands of people potentially and if it wasn't for him, Mark Murphy and many others who I've spoken to in private, Stephen Foster is another one who has helped me out as well. I'm very, very lucky to have the great friends such as these guys who have taken the time out to work with me, advocate with me and understand my autism. I know I'm not the easiest person to work with. I can be very confusing, very complicated and they take the time to actually make me feel valued and special and they understand that autism is a priority here in Ipswich to raise the profile. And without these guys, I wouldn't be able to do the BBC work. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know where to start. I wouldn't know how to approach it. And I'm lucky that John Wright followed me on Twitter that one day and I haven't looked back. You know, he's been a really faithful friend to me, loyal friend to me and to my family, has supported them. And if it wasn't for John Wright support me and giving me the chance to advocate for myself, campaign for myself and other autistic people and get our voices heard, I don't think I would be doing what I'm doing now. The work I do is so important and I love it. I enjoy it. I really do find the benefit out of it. My mental health has increased massively. I find it something I'm really passionate about. It's become my lifelong interest. And hopefully the media connections will keep coming. And I'll keep working with them for as long as I can. And have the opportunities that I'm able to do. And I just want to say thank you to BBC Road Suffolk for always believing in me. Always taking a chance on me. Supporting me. Advocating for me sharing my YouTube channel out and helping people to understand what autism is from a autistic female's perspective. So I thought I'd share this little video with you just to talk through my experiences of working with Beauty Rose Suffolk over the last seven to eight years. And I hope the collaboration continues and I will update you again tomorrow. Bye guys.